That was a little plane in a bumpy situation. We took it over to Deland to get some lunch, and uh, that must be the bumpiest ride you've had so far. Yeah, it was uh, a little intense. <laughs> a little intense, yeah. <laughs> While we're here, and uh, let's see what uh, they got for lunch. Still had a good flight. It was one of those days where you get lifted out of the seat a little bit. It shows you that seat belts have to be tight, at least around your, your waist. Now, we're also flight testing slightly different version of our performance exhaust. Uh, we're uh, also going to add a resonator to the tailpipe. Uh, we're trying to make it as quiet as possible, yet have the maximum amount of performance for the airplane. So continued testing. Uh, engine, however, is proof and runs beautiful. It starts easy and uh, it's available for sale. Uh, in fact, uh, we're going to be building hours on this airplane as we go along but the plane is for sale too and that's because Mr. Bulat that is our friend um, is allowing us uh, Viking aircraft engines to do all this testing with his airplane but eventually it's going to sell to a happy owner has those big okay so we're back at Massey and uh, just in time we got rain as we landed and the plane has been put away nice and safe for next time uh, everything is beautiful on the plane we've got a uh, nice color on the exhaust the stainless steel exhaust now, obviously after every flight we do recordings on the aircraft and gear oil and the engine oil and compression and all that everything's absolutely fine the uh, engine has tremendous compression which uh you know it's uh, just a good showing of the quality of the engine and the way it's set up and uh, conservative ignition timing and everything that's running through the engine and and uh, nothing is deteriorating as far as that um oil is always this uh 30 hours worth of oil and uh it's well it's basically as clean as it can be. You couldn't ask for anything cleaner than that. So the engine is uh, now equipped with a little oil cooler, but it's not a air to oil cooler. It's a um, liquid to oil cooler. So it's a very nice little setup. The cooler just sits there and it's cooled by the uh, radiator fluid. So that's why the temperatures are so stable. The thermostat is controlling the coolant and then the excess, slight, the slightly cooler uh, coolant uh, helps then cool the oil. So everything's very stabilized and, and working great. Until next time.